Hey, Ter, what's up? Hey, Maggie, you will have a biology test in a few minutes, and I'm not prepared. Well, what's the topic on? I have to learn about the four phyla, a fungi, and its characteristics. Oh, lucky for you, I know a lot about that, so uh, why don't you come with me to the library, and uh, we'll study together. Sure. Let's Thanks, go. Maggie. First of all, let me tell you a few things about fungi. Fungi is the kingdom composed of eukaryotic heterotrophs. They play a vital role in the ecosystem by decomposing and recycling living materials of dead organisms. Fungi could be seen almost anywhere, in bathrooms, forests, and even in our food. A body of a typical fungus is made up of a tangled mass of tiny filaments called mycelium. Each individual filament is called a hypha. The reproductive structure grown from the mycelium is called a fruiting body. Most fungi can reproduce sexually, asexually, or even both. We'll go more into detail about that later. The four common phyla we will learn about are Zygomycota, Ascomycota, Mycota, and Deuteromycota. Wait a second, I just noticed that all four phyla end up the suffix mycota. What does that mean, Maggie? In Greek, mycota means mushrooms or fungi. Isn't that pretty interesting? However, not all fungi are mushrooms. Yeast, mildew, or molds are also a type of fungi. Anyway, let's dive onto the four phyla right now. The first phyla we're going to talk about is zygomycota, or zygote fungi. These are usually the familiar molds that grow on meat, cheese, and bread. The name comes from the fact that these fungi form a thick-walled zygote called a zygospore during sexual reproduction. The hyphae, or tiny filaments that make up the fungi, generally lack cross walls. Where do zygomycetes live? I also heard my teacher talking about a mold called Rhizovis stolonifer. Is that a zygomycete? Zygomycetes live on land and grow in dark, moist, and warm environments. Rhizovis stolonifer, also known as the black bread mold, is actually a zygomycete. The hyphae that grow into the bread are called rhizoids. Their purpose is to hold the mold into the food and release digestive enzymes into the food that break it down then later absorb the nutrients. Those that grow along the surface are called stolons, while the hyphae that push up into the air are called sporangiophores, wherein sporangia grow into their tips. How do zygomycetes reproduce, Maggie? Great question. Zygomycetes can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Asexually, haploid spores released from the sporangia can grow into new hyphae. Sexual reproduction occurs when two hyphae from different mating types come together to form gametangia, which are structures that produce gametes. The haploid gametes produced from gametangia fuse with the opposite mating type to form diploid zygotes. When a thick wall grows around the nuclei, a zygospore is formed. When sufficient growing conditions are reached, the zygospore germinates, undergo meiosis, and forms a hypha, which then grows into a sporangium. This way, new combinations of genetic information that may help the organism grow are produced. The next phylum is called the Ascomycota, or sac fungi. This is the largest phylum in the kingdom, with over 30,000 different species. Ascomycetes have cross walls in their hyphae, meaning that there are individual cells on in the organism. The cross walls have tiny holes in them through which cytoplasm and nuclei can move. Morals, truffles, and yeast belong in this phylum. Like zygomycetes, ascomycetes can reproduce both sexually and asexually, following a similar process. Asexually, small spores called conidia are formed at the ends of special hyphae called conidiophores. If it lands in a suitable environment, it grows into a haploid mycelium. In sexual reproduction, the same procedure occurs wherein two different mating types combine and later form monascus, which are reproductive structures that contain spores. Cells within the ascus are called ascospores and can be released to grow into new organisms. Hang on, earlier you said yeast is an ascomycete. How so? You bet it is. Yeasts are unicellular ascomycetes. They are classified as ascomycetes because they form asci with ascospores during reproduction. Yeast mostly reproduces asexually through the process called budding, which is the formation of smaller cell from a larger one. 
Dry granules contain ascospores, which become active in a moist environment. Nowadays, we use yeast to bake bread, make beer, and even used for genetic engineering and research. One other phylum is called Basidiomycota, or club fungi. The name comes from a specialized reproductive structure that resembles a club and produces spores known as basidium. These basidia are found on the gills that are located under mushroom caps. Most mushrooms belong in this phylum. A few examples are puffballs, wheat rusts, and toadstools. Basidiomycetes are known for undergoing an intricate life cycle. A basidiospore germinates to produce a haploid primary mycelium which begins to grow under right conditions, such as moisture, nutrients, and much more. Spore-producing fruiting bodies push above the ground as mushrooms. Fruiting bodies expand very fast due to cell enlargement, which happens because of the cytoplasm from hyphae enlarges it by pushing it up with a lot of force. When the mushroom cap opens, each gill is lined with basidia and two nuclei in each basidium fuse to form diploid zygote cells. Then, Meiosis occurs, forming clusters of haploid basidiospores scattered on the cap. The last one we will be talking about is the Deuteromycota, or imperfect fungi. These are a collection of fungi that cannot be grouped in any of the other phyla as their sexual reproduction hasn't been fully observed yet. However, some Deuteromycetes resemble some of those in the other phyla, but mostly Ascomycetes. The term imperfect refers to the lack of reproduction. Some mycologists hypothesize that deuteromycetes may have lost their sexual phase through the course of evolution. The best known deuteromycete is the fungi penicillum, which is used to make the antibiotic penicillin. Like ascomycetes, penicillin reproduces asexually by means of conidia. Other examples of deuteromycetes are athlete's foot, ring ring, and tomato blight, which are infamous for the harm they cause. That's almost everything you need to know about the four phyla of fungi. That was very interesting. I learned so much. Thank you, Maggie. Well, Guy, I could help you. Good luck on your chess. Thanks.